Good afternoon everyone. In today's session, we'll cover SAP IS-Retail Store Connectivity, Mapping Store System onto SAP IS-Retail System, some ALE dialog IDOC concept, and post operation, mostly post inbound, outbound, and post goods issue, issue, and inventory management. So, we'll start from the store connectivity. For store connectivity, we need to set up the post system to HSP system. When I will show you the system configuration, I will show you how to do those connectivity. In post store connectivity, there are two most important things are post inbound and post outbound. In post outbound, we mainly transfer the assortment list, article data, condition, promotion, pricing related information from SAP system to post system. Similarly, for post inbound, we'll transfer some sales related data, cash balancing, store order, goods movement, and its other report from post system to SAP system. And third, most important part is that the store order. Uh, first, we need to set the order to receive goods from head office or vendor to the store. Then we need to do the store physical inventory movement. Also, we need to check the store replenishment. Also, uh, we need to do the goods movement sales process inclusion to this part. Also, there is one process called post and payment card. So, there we need to handle the voucher processing, voucher valuation and voucher redemption. Also, the payment card handling and baggage balance. Now I will come to the process flow. So this is the post store manager store manager process flow. So it starts from the post interface, initialization in the post outbound, then manage manual outbound process, other IDOC related information, then IDOC post monitor, then it's come to the article master data EN process flow, then follow on documentation generation is done. After that bonus by coupon and promotion has been checked then they also check the assortment list and finally it will go to the manual request and displaying IDOC. That was the post inbound outbound process flow. Now I am coming to the good movement process flow. So this process starts from the store order then it will check for prerequisites and then creating store order also displays order and order confirmation then it will check for the stock if the stock is available otherwise it will set a it will create an order also they will do the good receipt and good issue store order will be generated good movement has been done stock will be updated then external purchase order will be generated and customer will receive the goods and the invoice will be generated. So now, now I'm coming to the third part. So I have shown you two process and two things which is first one is the post inbound outbound process and the store order and boost movement. Now there is the post payment card and post process. So this is the interface. So this is the most important how we map to a SAP system to the post or party system. So here you can see in the bottom corner the store point of sale reside in the font unit where we do the product checking and the payment process. And in the backend SAP, there will be post server, post monitor, input units, and the output units. These are inbound and outbound. 
in between them there are ALE EDI IDOC in post converter which convert the data mapping what we do we collect the SAP data and their particular table and film name also we collect the third party data and map one to one through project integration or PIXI So now handling in post outbound. So as you can see, this is the store system, and from RT system, application data comes through post IDOC master and ALE EDI through converter. It comes to the store system. And this is outbound. Similarly, the sales data and other communication data through converter and from which becomes an IDOC file then through ALE workflow and application functions come to the application data into the RG. Now I'm coming to the store physical inventory moments. So the process starts from create and post physical inventory document. I'll show you in details. There are transaction MI. So from there we can create and post physical inventory document then those physical inventory document should be sent to the store there will be some if there are some difference then we need to do the difference posting and finally we will prepare the final data counting result there is a called daily list or inventory counting so that's counting result in details sent back to the post simulator to find out the differences and other details analysis. If we get some differences then we need to do the differing question. There are separate transactions for that. As you can see there are some difference. Means actually they have counted 99 and system uh, counted 100 stock. So we need to do the post difference. Now I'm coming to the store sales process. In sales process, customer picks the product and comes to the counter, sales counter and the salesperson scan the article and I article related data sends back to the central system which is the post interface. Now I'm coming to the process flow diagram for master data. So this is post outbound. All the master related information comes from SAP system into the post system. So first thing, there will be a salesperson who will check for user parameters, log on details for store person and what are the views are available for them there should be some restriction that all the transaction they should not do they can only display change they should not create or there will be some checking about that also the assessment list will be there and in master data person will be responsible for all headquarter related work so they will create the new article they will create the assessment and but they will put from the headquarter to the store store person will able to change and display Now I'm coming to the process flow purchasing and good receipt. So as you can see there will be three departments for this. So these uh, processes are very important to understand the store connectivity. So one will be detail house clerk check, there will be detail store manager and last one will be detail store person. Store person will create the stock transfer order and will come to the warehouse person will check the upon delivery and create and confirm and do the post good issue then it's come back to the store person and they will do the post good receipt and then he will create the purchase order for the salesperson and do the post good receipt now physical inventory movement process for tracker similarly there will be two department retail store manager and retail salesperson 
salesperson will do the sales generated data physical inventory document and the other article on generated data and then they will push to the store manager and the store manager will evaluate that and will do the post difference so this is data department wise process flow now process flow for allocation so as i have told you earlier so that there are two process one is push and pull so when we use the allocation table this allocation process is basically push process and based on the sales data if we do the purchase and replenishment that is basically pull process so in allocation there will be three department retail purchaser store manager and retail warehouse clerk Retail purchaser will create the allocation table, then it will come to the retail store manager. He will check and then it will goes back to the retail purchaser. Then he will create the follow-on documentation, then it will come to the warehouse. From warehouse, there will be down delivery, outbound delivery and transport order good issue will be done. And then allocation table will push to the store manager. This is important that there will be outbound delivery. Similarly for pull, there will be inbound delivery. Now I'm coming to the purchasing process of the store. In purchasing process, first store will create the order data to the head office. Head office will check the purchase requisition. It will create the purchase order and the delivery. This will go to the vendor or the DC. Then the stock will come to the store. So that will be the good movement process in purchase process how the order is flowing from one point to another point this is showing here so now i'm coming to the replenishment in the sap ISL store so in replenish process head office will do the replenishment run there will be some scheduled job i'll show you also in details and also store manager will do some calculation and planning based on their sales data then they, by merging these two there will be a replenishment plan and the forecasting plan so now coming to the good receipt process in SAP ICT store in good receipt process once the vendor receive or the DC receive the order then they will deliver the goods to the store this is the store and vendor at DC are delivering the goods to the store and store will send the good receipt date and other information to the head office. So this is the SAP IS retail store connectivity mapping system ALI overview concept operation and background processing I'll show you system and post inbound outbound so now I'm coming to the system in configuration first we'll do install merchandise and inventory management the first transaction for this is So here we can edit the price catalog.
now we'll go to the store master data As you can see, we have already maintained the post inbound profile while creating the sites and DC. Next one is general assessment list. to the period allocation table.
you can also select the strategies from here where we will select our distribution center Next one is follow on documentation. As you can see, we can generate follow on documents based on the cell order, order order vendor purchase order now go to VN02 She is speaking as you have not yet created the outbound delivery I'll show you the details step later okay, that will also do good issue now we'll check in article master data We have already maintained the post tab in our different master data. Now we'll go to field zero and B.
after purchasing and delivery process we'll check the stock Then we'll go to MB one C workbook steam good receipt. That will put the moment I have to feel required. And also to the price changing by PKP one. Now we'll do some basic prerequisite. First is that the checking using user parameter. For that we'll go S3. These are the important processes. First one is user parameter, then customer maintain. We have already done that customer creation, display and change, maintain business process also we have covered. Article we have created different article also maintain post letter data. Parting article that I have just shown. Sales price maintained. I have done that uh, assortment list and general assignment also we have covered. Shelf layout also we have created allocation today. I have shown you information also we have covered. Now maintaining stock, goods movement, purchasing and inventory management. These four I'll show you in system. 